This file has been prepared for calculating a film thickness based on these survey spectra. If we go to the VAMAS comment, you can see that we've included in the comment a set of lines that will be displayed when we display the VAMAS block comment. And this shows us that this file has been prepared and documented to have uh, a, a range calibration used to shift the energy, uh, a U3 Tugar background to compute the B1 value, a skip background to compute the AP value, and the objective is to show that we're going to use the custom report to calculate uh, values using these two keywords. So let me turn that off and let's start working on these data to illustrate how we're going to do the calculation. Well, the first thing that we might want to do is work out a, an effective attenuation length for these data. And since we have a region already defined on here, what I'm going to do is copy that VAMAS block into a new file so that I can make a small adjustment to the definition. Let's get rid of that one. We only need the one region and I'm not interested in the cross-section now. What I'm interested in is the kinetic energy for the peak we're going to use to work out the film thickness, namely the carbon 1s. So I'll call that KEC1s and I've specified a key string position so that when I use the tag report and if I bring up just the name and use the tag defined report then you can see that at this point I'm just reporting what the kinetic energy is for the peak that was defined by that region. So we're going to use that kinetic energy and I'm going to use a file that's been prepared previously and I've created an expression that will calculate an effective attenuation length let me just show it here for a polymer with a mean Z value of 4 the kinetic energy and these numbers are from a paper by Sear that gives you a method for calculating attenuation length given the kinetic energy and the effective uh, uh, Z value for the material. So let's just cancel that and if I press the tag report and the fact that I've got this here position means the kinetic energy is coming in go to the tag report I can then calculate using this formula an effective attenuation length of 3.41 